of right here. I believe we have Biotoxic here on the left hand side of our screen right now. And that's exactly what we have. Just get that marked on up there and we'll get on the screen here for you guys. We got Saucy here starting off with three in a row for his team. Taking down three players out towards mid. Stride able to pick up one as well. Make that now two here for his team. See here, here what these players can do. Again, a three start. Make that now four here for Saucy. We'll see if he can find any more kills. Going to find that fifth already and pick up a glide right off the rip. Making it look easy here for his team so far. But right now, we're going to wait and see what he does as he starts to move on forward. This is looking like Jet. We now the player last alive on the hill as he's starting to rack up a few kills. We did see that player there in Saucy drop after picking up the glide. Would have loved to have seen him pick up a few more streaks, but in the end, he does not. His teammates, however, go on streaks of their own. We have Stalli on three in a row, Jet on three in a row here as well. See here what these guys can do. It's actually combined seven here between these two players. And as soon as I say that, Jet does end up dropping. We'll see here if Stalli can manage to get some kills here out on the rotation. He does have some help from his teammate. We have set on up at new already. We have a few other players here already set up too. We'll be seeing Saucy there finding one. He's going to find nothing else just yet. I thought maybe he would find a second, but that player opted not to chow him. Stride will pick up a kill there of his own. Now 3-1 and one here on the map. We'll see kind of how these players continue to play things here. It's looking like Saucy is going to, well, try to find one there, but he does not end up dropping there. White Fang will end up finding three in a row here, so he's done a great job here breaking on into the hard point for his team. We'll see here if Merc can potentially get themselves a big chunk of points here on the board. That would be ideal as you are finding yourselves down by quite a bit already. So we'll kind of just see how they adapt here and move on forward. But again, a few players struggling here early. Penembra will end up finding his first kill here on the map. Let's see if he can find another one here as well. He's actually, ooh, he's going to be tagged up heavily there as I believe Saucy got the angle on him. Saucy now going to be making his way on out towards the left side of the map trying to lock that down for his team he'll be playing for this player out towards zig but he does get smoked there but number find that kill so he's now going to end up dropping it but again a few players struggling there on the side of merc not necessarily having the greatest start to this map but hopefully they can turn things on around and we can get some more kills there in their favor that would be ideal but we're going to be seeing Stolly and Saucy both finding kills. Stolly will end up dropping there, and Saucy will drop there as well. Jet is now trying to find some kills here out towards the back. He's done a great job here of doing that so far. He's able to find now two here in a row. We'll see here if he can find anything else. It is looking like he's just locking that on down right now. Stride in the hard point currently, racking up that time there for his team. Doing a great job of it as well. You'll love to see that. Not really having to do a whole lot there in the kills category as Stolly and Jet are really those players standing out. Along with Saucy, all three of them really having a good game here so far. You'll love to see that. We'll kind of see how they go about things here moving forward. On the other side, we are going to be seeing White Fang here at 6 and 11 with Fakes. He's there at 8 and 9. We'd love to see these guys pick up just a few more kills. Like, they're going to have to carry their team from the looks of it as both their other teammates are sitting at double neg. I mean, White Fang now sitting at double neg as well, so... Love to see them pick up just a few more kills. Again, it's not all kill dependent, but against a team like this, you're really going to need kills. This is probably, if I had to take a guess right now, probably a top five or six team within the league. So you definitely are going to want to get the kills when you can get them. As of right now, it's looking like they will get on into the hill for just a second. Not going to be enough there to lock a decent amount of time on down. And just struggling here within this map. One, we'll kind of see if they can bounce on back. It's all about adapting. You start adapting throughout the map, you can start playing better. And after a rotation, you should kind of get like, a, like you know, after the first few hills, you should kind of feel how, feel out your team, your opponent, and how they're kind of playing. But the second set of rotations is really like, okay, this is what we need to do. This is what they did last time. Like, hit this, hit that. Like, you need to be more vocal. Like, get that small talk going and help each other on up. Right now, it is looking like Jet is able to pick up one. We are going to see Cosby pick up one there as well on the side of Merc. We're seeing Sasuke here on two in a row for his team. See if he can find anything else. He does find that third. I thought I do see there for a second. My audio completely cut out and I kind of just lost my mind a little bit there. But we are going to be seeing side here on three now as well. He's going to find two there off of that break. See here if they can continue to find these kills. Again, a combined six here for the team. We have Stolly finding one. We're seeing here a Fakesy and White Fang can find some kills again on this little one streak that they have going. Looking like Fakesy will be taken on down, which will leave White Fang here at new on a one streak. Now 9-16 here for his team. 
We'll see here if he can find a kill. He does exactly that now on two in a row. We'll see if he can find a potential third. We'll be playing out towards mid here with this team, trying to nade out towards old. And as I'm saying, that B stride going on five in a row. He's going to call in this streak. A player there in white thing is going to be taken on and down. It's looking like he's going to just hit the top and hope it deals some sort of damage. I think he knew that player was there. Just could not find the right angle. But right now, B stride is going to be on six in a row. He's 16 and 18 here on the map. We'll see what he can do. It's looking like he's going to find a kill there onto V Stride. He's going to land some shots there onto another player, but he's not going to be able to finish that on off as he does end up dropping. Saucy now here on the map, 13 and 8. Let's see here if he can find this kill within the hard point. But his teammate here in Jet on another 3 spree, 18 and 10 now on the map, doing a great job here early on. He's going to land a few shots there, but he's not going to be able to take anyone down as he does end up dropping. Penumbra now out towards mid, and I hope I'm saying that right because it kind of sounds like I'm butchering it. We'll try to help his teammate get up towards this point. It's only going to be 14 seconds now needed here for the likes of Biotoxic Gaming because they have found themselves a pretty solid lead here within the map. Cosby just going to be looking on out there towards old. Not going to find anything here, but his teammate out towards new. He's going to have to find a kill or two here in just a moment. These players make their way out towards the broken and the top side of the hill. We'll kind of see how they go about this. It's looking like White Ping got the gunfight up there. He actually loses, but... Penumbra finds two there, but he cannot find a third. He gets traded on out. That could have been a huge three-piece if he could have found a third. And he does end up dropping. Neither team able to pick up any sort of hill time here currently. As White Fang will drop. Seeing Cosby and Fakesies drop as well. We should be seeing this game most likely closing on out here. But Stride takes his team on down. All right. He's going to take Jet completely out of the equation. Saucy able to find one. He's not able to find a second there, so he will... Have to rely on Stalin to get on into this hill to try to close out this game. And it's looking like they're not going to be able to do so just right away as Jet's going to be Chow. We see Fakesy and Cosby both popping into the hard point. Looking like Saucy Streak will just come on in and take one player out. We're seeing those streaks completely called on in. So no more there on the side of Biotoxic. I would really personally love to see Merc get a good 40 seconds here. Hit the 100 points. At least give yourself 100 within that map. We'll kind of see how they go about it. It's looking like Panun able to find out two in a row. Going to pre-fire this corner here. We'll see if he can maybe find a kill or two off of it. But not looking likely right away as Stully does fly on in. But his teammate there to back him on up. To help him stay alive within the hill. Right now we're going to be seeing White Fang there dropping yet again. But he's started to pick up a few more kills. He's helping his team out just a little bit more. Stully on the flank will hit now to get those two kills. He's going to have another two to deal with. He spots the third. Oh my god. Technically I don't know if he get that last kill. But he gets four there at the end. A technical three, I don't know if it was four or not, but in the end, great stuff there from Merc as they take an early 1-0 edge here within the series. Or not Merc, uh, Biotoxic. Oh, I completely butchered that. I do apologize. But Biotoxic up 1-0 here within this series. Um, I'm going to be honest, I kind of expected them to be up 1-0. I just didn't expect it to be that dominant, I guess. Um, I definitely thought for sure that it would be a little bit closer in the end. It really just wasn't um it's unfortunate but kind of happens sometimes you just have the same side just a little bit better and i think that's kind of what we got here from um biotoxic they're just a team with more reps i think they also get good reps against like top teams as well so um it, it can be rough sometimes and th that's just kind of how it went right there but right now we are just gonna be loading on up into this next lobby we're gonna be getting a tuscan s s and d next oh my god i'm starting to know my words but yeah, Tuscan up next. Um, if I had to take a guess, I would hope it'd be... Uh, I'm thinking it's going to be somewhat closer. I'm saying like 6-4, 6-3 in Biotoxic's favor, but I think it'll be closer, especially than that last map. But shout out to all of you who have followed the channel. We're sitting at 225 followers already. That is absurdly crazy. I love you guys for the support. And as of right now, we are just going to allow this lobby to load on up, and we'll be back here with some more action in just a little bit.
Yeah, we're good. Alright, it isn't looking like everything's loading on up. We'll just get this up on screen. Why is that? What is so bright on the floor right there? What the hell? Okay, I think it freaking crashed. Okay. I don't know what that was, but oh my. That was wild. Thank you for the invite. God, this dude's on top of it. I love that and respect that. Alrighty, now we're back and loaded on up. I do apologize for going quiet there for a second. I was handling a little bit of a situation, but uh, Biotoxic lost first against Fusion on Trixel's stream for or for Trix uh, 25147. Uh, I honestly kind of, I guess I kind of expected that a little bit um, personally. Um, I know I cast them the other night and they looked like they were struggling a little bit so far early on, but they, they definitely have a chance to rebound. Just a matter of getting some extra reps in it, my honest opinion. But Stolly able there to find that first one. He's on the flank. He's going to find a second. Find a third there as well. And that's a quick one there. As Stolly just goes on the flank and gets an easy, quick three kills. Alrighty, here we're now going to get on into this next round here. So we're going to be seeing a 1 0 Eds already here in favor of Biotoxic as Stolly is going to start making his way on out here towards this site. We'll see if he can find another kill here already on three in a row. That bomb's going to go on down as well. We'll see here if he can get that fully planted. He's going to do exactly that and get out with his life. Is bomb always blowing like that? What the heck? Is it just a caster glitch or what? Oh my god, that is very, very weird. But right now we are going to be seeing a cause we. Just playing his life here. He's going to try to find Astali out towards this side of the map. It's not looking like he's going to find him early on. But as of right now, Astali just going to be checking that bomb. He's going to spot that player in Cosby right there. Find his fourth now here in the map. He's going to try to find a fifth here as well. He's 
gonna find that fifth and wow it's gonna be early streaks and an early 2-0 lead here for biotoxic Now we're going to get on into this next round here already at 2-0 edge in favor of Biotoxic. Can they continue to build on it here? If I honestly had to take a guess, I would, I would say so. We got Stali starting off 5-0, and oh, just finding all the kills early on. He's not just going to play his life and try to find a few more. But let's switch it on over. Let's see what the likes of Merc are doing here currently. We'll see if they can find some kills. It's looking like Saucy is able to find two. That streak there from Stolly is going to come on in. That's now going to be three dead in the round, which is now going to leave Cosby in a predicament as he's going to have to find all four players. He wants to win this round. Stolly playing it perfect. He's chasing exactly where this player would be. We'll see if he can possibly find this kill. He's going to hear this part of it open. He's going to go. Oh, he tried going for the assassination. Dirty man. He does not get it, but he tried. He attempted it, and he failed. Great stuff nonetheless. Biotox are going to be finding themselves up 3-0 here in this map. They are looking like the better team. I mean, again, I expected them to win. I'll be honest. Um, that's just my prediction there. I know the players on the team. It's probably the best player, the best team in the pool. So it's probably best that Merc gets them all the way. You look at that map one. Like, yes, that was not that great. But honestly, against this team, it wasn't horrible. And they know they're not going to end up doing that against other teams within their pool so expect a lot out of Merc like don't just judge them off of this series alone they definitely can be a top two or three team within their pool I do have faith that they can be again it's just the fact that they're playing the best team in their pool right now White Fang will end up dropping there we will be seeing this player last up alive and he will end up dropping which will now give Bio Toxic a 4-0 edge again don't judge these guys off of this series alone no. I mean I did think they would put up a little bit more of a fight but again it's it's Stolly and co they've been known for being mw like players back in mw so definitely very good players again just know that merc will be better here in the future and i expect a much better gameplay here for them but for now it's gonna be seeing fake c making his way on out towards the right hand side of the map we'll see what he can do here as he starts to slide on forward it is looking like he is going to spot stolly there he'll end up dropping however stolly goes on nine in a row to open this map on up you see in this nade now coming on in white fang has the bomb in his hand a 3v3 here now in the round we see in the saucy here we're going to be seeing actually everyone out towards the top there of that b site so we'll just see this rotation go on down white fang just trying to play for an angle here waiting to see if anyone peeks has yet to see anyone, and as soon as I say that, he does spot one. He's now just going to wrap on back here. I don't know if they're going to double back to this B site or what's really going on here. They're kind of playing this super, super slow. Solly's going to call in that streak and try to force these players into his gun here. We'll see what he can do. He's going to spot that player. He's going to try to get the second. He does exactly that on 10 in a row. He read that right. The player was top blue right there, but he's not going to be able to find that last player, as I believe his teammates are going to find this kill. Saucy, just saucing him up with some bullets. Stolly, just going to run back on over, and he's going to find that kill. And it's going to be another round win on the board. So we are now going to be seeing a 5-0 edge here in favor of Biotoxic, as Stolly is just picking them apart right now. now get on into this next round here again i forget that i can't put it up right away i'm so used to cold war i could throw that up in a heartbeat and i wouldn't have an issue well now get on into this next round right here again 5-0 edge 12-0 start here from stolly he's got more kills than his whole team combined and the other team he's got the most kills in the lobby by a long shot and he's got more than everyone else combined he finally gets taken on down there by a sniper of penumbra we'll see here if he can Maybe help his team get their first round win, but right now he's going to be traded on, or his teammate there, White Fang's going to be traded on. Oh, he's still got the sniper in hand. He's going to, oh, he hit markers that player. What he's going to do is chase this guy and find the kill. He cannot find it, though. He picks the wrong side to challenge, and he does. 
not get the kill as a result. But site control is still there in favor of Biotoxic as they are pushed on up here completely. You see in Saucy here just looking on out towards church. Just watching on over, waiting for one of these guys to make a mistake. Right now, it's not looking like they are going to make that mistake. They're playing the super patient, making the likes of Biotoxic. Just plant the bomb. It's looking like that player out towards top blue will be spotted on out. Stride going to land some shots there onto that player up top. Which means that they should be good to just lock this on down. They are just going to use this site in their favor. Jet able to find two. That's going to be the round, and that's going to be the map to win there as well. Biotoxic making it look easy here in the search and destroy as they take it 6-0 over the likes of Merc. Again, I expect I didn't expect a 6-0. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't expect that, but I did expect a map win there for Biotoxic. Um, again, I just wasn't really expecting, I guess, the 6-0 style and finish to it. So little unfortunate again i do think merc will be a good team within the league it's just they're playing the best team first that's really all it is so what we really just need to do now is just allow them to adapt and allow them to just really play it out because they are a good team i promise you guys that so again a 6-0 win right here i don't know how the other series is going if they have they started map two at all i'm not even sure Let me know if they've started map two. I kind of want to stay up to date on that series as well. And then as soon as we're done with this, we'll host Trixel up and give him the gas he deserves over there on the stream. But we're getting a quick little reset here. They do get scan and repair after every S and D map. Love that. I'd rather it be after than during. So I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Well, we're just going to load the sound up. I'll send it to the intermission here, and we'll be back here in a moment. All right, we're just waiting here on this map to load. If you guys heard anything, it was this. I was literally doing that because I'm gonna warm up my hands a little cold in the basement of my parents' house right now on Thanksgiving break. So that's what you know what I'm doing. I'm grinding on Thanksgiving break off of college for you guys. Just know that, just for you. Well, and partially for myself because I love doing this. It is what it is. But we're going to get on into this game. It's going to be a bow cage here. Oh, God. I have to. Okay, there we go. It's 
gonna load on up we do have this 2-0 edge in favor of biotoxic gaming we'll see how they go about these next few rounds it's looking like stolly is able to land some shoot maybe not i thought he was gonna land some shots there i'm kind of expected it after that last map but he does not there in the end he's tried able to find at least two we see on stolly find two as well stride already in four engagements that's absurd dude's already three and one we'll see if he can find any more kills like Stolly just below him trying to watch his back. He's going to end up dropping there. Stride now goes on four in a row. He's going to find that fifth as well. Stride, a man on a mission right now. See if he can find anything else here. He starts to move on forward. That's going to be another kill. Make that another. The dude's just frying. He turns and burns and almost gets another. The dude is on a goddamn mission right now. He's doing a great job of it as well. You're seeing Fakes here trying to find something, but he's not going to be able to do so. His teammate, however, in Cosby. Does find two, at least on the plus side. They are starting to get some more kills in their favor. See here if they can find some more out towards this hill. But right now, it's not looking ideal here as we have White Fang here at one and three. We got Vagsies here at one and four. They really need to start finding just a few more kills. Not a lot, just... Again, kills aren't everything, but the more crucial kills you get, the better. It's looking like fake sees here on the flank. We'll find one. We'll see if we can find another. He's going to spot the second, but no! Saucy says, I'm going to get the sauce and finds two more. Now four and always one away from a streak. Let's see here if he can find this other kill. He's going to do exactly that. Finds that fourth kill. Does a great job of it. Or finds that fifth kill, I should be saying, overall, and does a great job. You'd love to see that. Stride now on two in a row yet again. We'll see if he can maybe pick up some more streaks. It's not looking like he will be able to do so. Stolly, now making his way on forward, is going to find one. We'll see him find a second there as well. Now see here if this player's on the side of Merc can bounce on back just a little bit here and hopefully get themselves it back on into this map, but... At the moment, it's not looking great as we see in White Fang here. Now, just looking on out there towards that player. He's going to find that kill. We'll now see if we can find another. Not going to be able to do so there as Stolly does end up finding one. Saucy still 7 0 here on the map. The dude has yet to die. Let's watch an angle series. Now find an 8th, find a ninth. He finally drops for the first time in the map after finding 9 in a row. We're seeing Stolly finding one there. Make that now 2 in a row. His teammate there in stride finds another kill. Jet finding now 2. Guys, again, are just frying in yet again another map here. We are going to be seeing Fakesy now making his way on into this hard point. See here if he can find this kill. He's going to find the first. He's got a second to deal with. Checks the wrong corner. He will end up dropping. Stolly finds two. Cannot find a third. If he kept watching the same angle, he probably would have found a third. As of right now, Cosby having actually a decent map on four in a row himself. We'll see if he can pick up streaks. He read that perfectly but could not find the kill. He ends up dropping there. Could have had streaks there for his team. A little unfortunate, but all in all, he did damage. He's helped his team get some time there on that point. They just need to get a big, big chunk of time here on P4. Get themselves completely back on into this game. A good 40 or 50 seconds does that there for you. Cosby shoots his own teammate right there. See if he can find anything out towards the bottom. He cannot. Saucy able to find now two in a row. We'll see here if they can find a third. It's looking like he will do exactly that. Now see here if Stolly can find a second, if not, find a few more. But right now, Stride, Saucy, Stolly, doing what they can. Saucy finds one. He'll find, oh, he will not find a second there. He will drop. Fakesies will find two in a row before dropping. There we're going to be seeing Penumbra finding now two. Oh, make that one. His teammate finished that kill there for him, but should have been two. Now going to find that true second kill in a row. We'll see here if he can find the third out towards mid. He's read this pretty well. He could have slid on out and found an easy third kill right there, but he plays that smart, plays that hill time, and keeps himself in the hill with this team. But they've done a great job here of actually playing better as a team. Yes, there's two players that are negative by quite a bit, but they're looking a lot better here on this map. It started off slow, but they started to bounce on back. As soon as I say that, stride goes on three. Still got these streaks in his back pocket as well, so we'll see what they opt to do with it here. It's looking like stride is just going to be playing his life here out towards the top jet however is going to be in the hill sitting at 10 and 15 and not expected performance from him i guess being negative on the map i thought all of them would honestly be positive here but one of them is struggling saucy will end up dropping there's that player in cosby jumps up from behind and we're seeing penundrum here making his way on forward Stolly using this gate heady to his advantage now 12 and 12 here on the map we'll see if he can find another keel here out towards the back of p3 going to do exactly that. He's got another player right behind him, but White Fang, I think, was trying to go for the assassination of his own right right there. Could not do it, so he just double melees and gets that kill. Now see here if he can find another. He's going to do exactly that. Should be turning on around here momentarily to potentially find one more kill. 
but it is not looking ideal here just at the moment. We're now going to be seeing him just fly on out towards P1, trying to get there early. As it is looking like now, Fake Seas here is going to at least try to play this point. He's going to find one. We got Cosby trying to find a kill there as well, but Stride trying to shut that on down. It's just mayhem here on P1. Trades going down back and forth. Saucy able to find two. You'll be seeing White Fang finding two as well. See if we can find any more kills. You know, I was saying they weren't struggling too bad earlier. They've all kind of sat now around negative five or negative one here. So, ideally, I would love to see them find just a few more kills. As of right now, Fake Seas here finding himself on one. Penumbra on one as well. We got Cosby on one. See so what these players can all do on the map. It is looking like White Ping will find two more there. We actually switched off of them to see what his teammates could do. But he did find two there before dropping. First streak is being called on, and I'm not sure who called it on in, but it is going to be Saucy who did call that in. Got one kill coming in for him, plus a TK. So technically, I guess, two kills, but I mean, really one overall. Stride making his way out towards mid will now find two. He's going to try to find that third within the hard point, but he cannot as he does end up dropping. Now going to be seeing Saucy here at 18 and 9. See here if he can find any more kills out towards the top. And as soon as I say that, Jet finds one. Cosby finds one. We have Fakesy finding one as well. White Fang here on two will end up dropping there for his team. But he started to pick it on up. I think just get a little bit more production off of Fakesy's and Penumbra. They would definitely, honestly, be right back on into this game. I told you, don't judge them off of that first map. They've actually came back here and fought hard in this map so far. And they're keeping it been somewhat of a striking distance they just need to lock down a good kill or two in a row and just get themselves into it that's really all they have to do at the moment but jet here playing his life inside of this closet room will start to make his way out towards the front or actually he's gonna have to back on up as he's gonna chop from the side and in the back we're gonna be seeing fake sees here hitting the back trying to find a few more kills it's not looking like he's gonna be able to find anything here that soon but strike jet and stolly all finding kills that's gonna be a quick little squad wipe right there we're now going to be seeing Stolly, Masasi, and Jet just finding kills. That's all it really is. We got Jet and Stride finding one of a piece. We got Fakesies here finding one. Jet's finding another. Stolly finds a kill. Let's just kill Mayhem here in the point. Jet finds another kill there. He's now going to make his way out towards mid. See here if he can find another kill or two. It's not looking like he's going to have to because no one's challenging him. And so right then and there, now Saucy, the next up, will have to try to find a kill. Not to be able to do much of anything there as really he's just getting shot in the back. Stride, however, comes off spawn and finds three. We'll see if he can find a possible fourth kill as he starts to rotate on. Oh, they're only going to need a few more seconds. And when I say a four, it's only going to be 40. But right now, we are going to be seeing Stride here just... Making his way out towards mid, using the streak to just clear it on out. Like stride, we'll find that kill on four in a row. His teammate and Stolly on three. We have Jet on two. Make that now none because he drops. Cosby able to pick up one. It's just going to be a few kills going down back and forth here. Penumbra able to find one right there. He's going to now make his way on into this hard point. Let's see here if he can find anything he's not able to do so as he does end up dropping. But can they hit 100 points? That's the real question here. Love to see them do that. I don't know if they did. I don't remember if they did last time. I don't think they did, but kind of just see how the rest of this map plays on out. But it is looking like as of right now that they are going to work their way back on over. If not, they're just gonna want to rotate here. At least hit that 100 mark. That would be the goal for me at least at this point. But right now we're gonna be seeing Stride finding two, Jet finding one. It's looking like that might very well be close to the end right here again. Would love to really have seen these guys hit 100. They still can. See number 8 there. And White Fang fly on in. He's going to find that kill. And boom. We get at least 100 here. That I'm happy with that. Personally, if I'm a work player, again, this is the top team in your pool 100%. So, I mean, if you could at least put up somewhat of a fight within this map. Like they've actually done it. So yes, they're going to now slay by a decent margin. But they put up a decent fight. Better than other teams would do. So, all in all. Not bad there in that last map, but they do get 3 0 there, unfortunately. It's just kind of how it plays out from time to time. But in the end, Wild Toxic is a pretty dominant map there of Hardpoint. And yeah, that's really going to close it on out. Um, again, it's just, it's they're playing the best team in the pool. It's really not much more you could do about it there, other than maybe 
play more as a team, I guess. Like, I guess they were kind of playing a little bit split, and, I mean, they were losing a lot of gunfights, too. I think a lot of it was just individual gunfights, so I think a lot of it just comes down, really, to you winning the gunfights you need to win and playing just a little bit more as a team. They didn't play bad as a team, I don't think. It was just not good. Search and Destroy definitely needs work. That was not the greatest performance that I've seen out of it, so um, I personally would say work on your search. That would be what I'd say work on the most... Um, but yeah, aside from that, in all honesty, not 